Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you guys are here with me today. On today's video, we are going to have crock pot pulled pork, homemade rub, everything. It is going to be so good and I'm so super excited. Plus, we're going to try for the first time my canned coleslaw and we're going to see how it turns out. So, with that being said, even though we're having it on today, this video, I'm having to start it the night before because I want it to cook all night in the crock pot on low. So let's get started. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you're back, welcome back, guys. You know I love you so much. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. Also, the greatest way you can support our channel is to share the videos. Be sure to watch them. Be sure to like them, comment, and to share them. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit subscribe. The intro is a great time to do that. See you in just a second. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Okay, everyone, we are going to work on the rub for our barbecue. I will leave the actual amounts in the description below, but I am doubling my recipe. I'm not sure how much I want to use, so I am going to double my recipe. I also want to share with you how I'm going to make this fairly healthy for us is instead of using brown sugar, I'm gonna use this. But you, if you are not watching any kind of calories or carbs or anything, you go ahead and use regular brown sugar. So brown sugar, we're gonna be using some salt, which is in my little container here. We are going to be using some smoked paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some ground mustard, some garlic, and some onion powder. Now, uh, I have several, uh, actually two different rub recipes, and depending on what I'm doing with it is which one I'm going to use. So, I'll leave the amounts down below for a single um, recipe of this, and I'm going to put together a double batch real quick. Okay, everyone, I have in here my pork loin. Uh, this is a part of a pork loin. We cut some pork chops off of this, and, and we did something else with another portion of it. So this is <clears throat> our what we're going to use for barbecue. Um, I did go back and realize I had forgot to put some of my spices in and um, or the amounts I was supposed to put because I was doubling it so I went back and did that and I'm just going to coat normally I would rub it in I'm not going to worry about rubbing it tonight I'm just going to be sure it's good and coated okay now that was the lean side that I put in and I'm seeing that one recipe would have probably been plenty on my rub um, <clears throat> I, nor I put the lean side on top. Let me go ahead and see the, this little end. Okay, now 
when Bryant was cutting the pork chops, he trimmed off some of the fat. But I said, don't throw it away. I want to keep it. So I like to do my barbecue with the fat on top. And I'm just going to kind of place that fat back on there. And the reason I like the fat on top is so it can, as it cooks, that fat melts and melts down into the meat and it just makes it a juicier, more delicious meat. All right. And I think that's about all the seasoning I'm going to put in there. Rub. And uh, now if you wanted to at this point in time, you could add some liquid smoke. I think I may add a fourth of a cup of water. I could go with the half, but I think a fourth is plenty because it's going to make its own juices. So I'm going to turn this on low and let it cook all night and we will see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. It is now the next day and my house smells absolutely glorious. It smells so good. Y'all, I have not tasted the pork yet. Um, I have stuck a fork in it and it is super tender. And so I've just turned it on warm and we're gonna let it just stay on warm um, until we're ready to pull the pork. Um, in fact, I may, it's still, hang on, let me show it to you. You guys wanna see it? Overlook the mess in the kitchen. I've got some cleaning to do today. Um, that seems pretty hot, so I'm, even though it's on warm, I'm going to go ahead and just um, turn it off. I don't want it to dry out, so let's just turn it off. That little sizzle seemed a little bit more than just warm. <laughs> but anyway, I've got some cleaning to do today. I've got some um, laundry to do, just basic house stuff. I need to, um, you know, we own our own business, our farm. So I have to, I, I'm supposed to sort the bills when I pay them, <laughs> but I have like a huge stack that I haven't sorted yet. So I'm going to go ahead and sort those because in a few days, our dining room table will be covered with tax stuff and I dread it so bad. Anyway, so I'm probably going to go ahead and sort the bills that I haven't sorted. And I mean, it's a huge stack. So anyway, I'm also going to give you guys a health update um, today. Uh, Bryant and I went out to eat last night and I'll explain part of that. Um, but I, I, I want to give you a health update. It's been a while since I've given you one. So um, anyway, we're going to just do basic stuff today and... Um, oh, here is the canned coleslaw. And so many of you asked me, was it good? Did it work? Well, I don't know. This will be the first time I'm trying it. Um, what I'm going to do is drain the liquid off and, um, and then mix some mayonnaise in it, taste it, see if it, what it needs. Um, it may not need anything but a little bit of mayonnaise. So we're going to give this a try today. So we'll know. If I need to do this again next year. Um, I, I started to pull one of the heads of cabbage I still have left in the garden and make coleslaw. But I thought this is a perfect time to try this. So um, we're going to do that in a little bit. And we're going to pull the pork and so forth. And I'm going to give you a health update. So with that being said, I'm going to go get started on cleaning. I'll see you back here in just a little bit. I'm back. I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I've mentioned that Bryant and I are going on a very special big anniversary trip. Um, probably the first and only big vacation other than our honeymoon that we've ever taken together, just me and him. When we take a big vacation, and usually our big vacations are just a week and they're only to the beach, but we take it as a family. Now we have taken a cruise, um, he and I took a, like a three day cruise and then we've taken the kids on cruises. Um, so, but every time we take a big vacation, it's the family, which I love. In fact, 
I'm wanting so bad to be able to take the kids with us to this one, but it's our anniversary trip. We can't take the kids to our anniversary trip. It's 25 years we've been married. Super excited. We're actually going to be selling chickens the day of our anniversary. <laughs> so we're going to see each other in our worst on our anniversary day because that's the day that we're hustling, we're stinky, we're dirty, we're nasty, and so that's what our anniversary is going to be. But shortly thereafter, um, a little over a week after we sell chickens, we'll be heading on an anniversary trip. We have not told you yet where we're going. I have told you, told you it's somewhere warm. Um, and I've been packing up summer clothes. Well, there was something I thought about that we needed, and I didn't know if I could find it this time of year here in North Carolina. But we went to Walmart last night, and I was looking, and <laughs> I'm so excited because it's like such an unusual vacation. But anyway, I found sunscreen, and I found reef-friendly sunscreen. Hint, hint. Reef friendly sunscreen and those of you that know me know that if I'm out in the sun I get fever blisters really bad so I always 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 travel with this and I take multiple things of it and I have one and I may have two because I have them everywhere because when I mow here and anytime I'm out in the sun for any length of time I am sure to wear lip protection so I bought that and that so this is going back there in the guest bedroom where I've started laying out my clothes to pack. And can y'all tell I'm excited? Okay, y'all, change of plans. I'm actually going to give the, the health update on the weekend wrap-up video. Um, so if you were interested in that, be sure to watch Sunday's video. Um, the health update will be on there. I'll probably film it today, but I'll put it on Sunday's weekend wrap-up video. I want this video to be pretty much strictly about the pork loin and our supper or lunch or whenever we're going to have it. So um, be sure to stay tuned to Sunday's video if you're interested in the health update and what my plans are next. Okay everybody, let's pull this pork and I'll just stick it back down in its juices in case Bryant comes in and wants some for lunch. Um, here is the fat cap that I put back on there that has, um, look how good and juicy and delicious this is. Oh my goodness. Here, let's give it a taste. Mmm. And we put our favorite sauce on it. Oh my goodness, it's going to be wonderful. Now, you can chop this if you wanted to. Um, some people have those bear claw pull, pork pullers. Uh, I don't make enough, I don't make this enough to warrant having those. But um, I do <laughs> like to pull it with forks. I don't know why I don't make this more. It's so delicious. Oh my goodness. This is wonderful. Um, now, Bryant will probably put traditional North Carolina. I want some of this. <laughs> mm. That was some of that crusty edge. Oh my goodness. So good. All right. Look, that's all it took to pulling this pork apart. So we are ready for some. Now this is not, you know, this was a tenderloin. It's, it was not like a butt or shoulder or anything like that. So this is really super lean, of course. Um, but oh my goodness. This is going to be so good. Now I could have put some liquid smoke in there. I didn't when I cooked it because I was using smoked paprika, um, but I could I can see that some liquid smoke, if you can tolerate it. Some people have an aversion to liquid smoke, but if you like that and can tolerate it, that it would have made it more smoky, <laughs> obviously. Oh, y'all, this is so good. 
All right, let me see if I want to put it back in here. Yeah, I think I do. All right, it's going back in the juices. Nasty fly. Go away. I don't know where he came from. All right. It's back in these wonderful juices. And we'll see you back when it's time to eat. Okay, guys, here's a look at it now that I've mixed it with its juices. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. And, of course, I'm going to take this big bite that got stuck on the fork. You know, it got stuck on the fork. <laughs> That, my friends, is delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Now I am ready to fix this and can't wait to see how this turns out. All right, y'all. The first thing I'm going to do now that I've got the lid off and it was, I, I had to fight to get the lid off and it was sealed so good, is I'm just going to drain the juice off in this sieve and I'll meet you back here when we add a little mayonnaise and see what it needs. All right, guys, before we add anything, I wanna just give it a taste to see what it may need. Y'all, that could actually be used as is. Mm, you don't hear the crunch. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's add a little mayonnaise and see if it needs anything after we add some mayonnaise. Okay, y'all, I added just a small little spatula, not even a spoon, a spatula full of mayonnaise. And I sprinkled a little bit of black pepper because I always think there's sun shining in that window. Good gracious. Let's turn over this way. I always think it's a little better with um, some black pepper. Mm. Y'all, that is delicious. And I mean, it could have been delicious without the mayonnaise. That is so good. So I highly suggest when you're in a hurry and you don't want to chop and make a mess of cabbage, having some canned coleslaw on standby. This was wonderful. All right, so we're going to be ready to eat in a little bit whenever Brian's ready. So, okay, it'll probably be, this will probably be an early supper for us. So it's delicious. Okay, everybody, it's not quite supper time, but Bryant hasn't had lunch. That's right. And I want to get this video edited and out to you guys. So I have fixed him a little plate of the barbecue and the slaw. But this is not how he'll eat it tonight. I don't have hamburger buns, but I thought about just toasting up some good, good hearty bread for him. And, um... He could like either eat it open faced on top of it or just whatever he wants to do. Um, Bryant will probably use I don't know where this came from the FFA. But it's good. It's, it's, good. it's barbecue sauce. Um, and um, where did that Lewis Lewis Beards famous barbecue sauce? Um, anyway, it's did, really did good. Did one of your viewers send it to us? No, I think um, I'm not sure where that came from. <laughs> Anyway, but one of my viewers did send me this, and this is what I'll use. This is like the Alabama white sauce, and um, I have fallen in love with this. It's got like a twang to it, like a lemony twang to it, and I love this, and there's only two carbs in it, and so th therefore it's good for me, um, but we're going to let Bryant try this and the slaw and see what he thinks of canned coleslaw and home canned coleslaw and our barbecue. Can I put some sauce on it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
It's yours to make it how you want it. Did you want to taste it before you put salt? Nope. Okay. <laughs> We're a saucy kind of people. <laughs> I already have. Oh, did you like it? Yes. I took a bite. It was very good. When it was in the crock pot. Yeah, it was hey, very tell, good. Hey, tell the viewers why I get to be in all the taste testing. Because I asked him to. <clears throat> yeah. She, she calls me and says, hey, it's time come to do the taste test. Come do the taste test. I want him to come here. All right, here we go. This is his channel too, y'all. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Really it good. Really good. And I haven't even had it with sauce. It's good without the sauce. But... Bursting with flavor. Yep. Lean with the tenderloin. Mm -hmm. Really good. So in case you're watching your fat. Mm -hmm. That coleslaw is so crunchy. I cannot even get over the fact that it's canned. Crunchy and got a little twang to it. Because I canned it with vinegar and sugar. Really good. A little trivia fact about me. <clears throat> I don't like the red barbecue slaw. No, he doesn't. Like, um, I don't know if they have that everywhere. But here, here in North, North Carolina, Carolina, we have two kinds of slaw. We have coleslaw, which is the mayonnaise based. The white slaw. And we call it white slaw or coleslaw. And then you have like barbecue slaw. And it's kind of red in color. They put ketchup in it. Yeah, they put ketchup in it. And, um, and so a lot of your barbecue places serve the red barbecue slaw, not the coleslaw. So he is a coleslaw person. Isn't that good? It's hard to believe that was canned, didn't it? Oh, thing I need is a bun. Yeah, and we don't have them, so tonight for supper, it's unless you stop by the store. <laughs> I'm going to town in a little <laughs> it's while. It's a good town. Going to town in a little while. Hey, the church, we signed the deed on the new property that we just bought. We signed the deed today. It officially becomes ours today. Yeah. And so, to celebrate, I'm going to go get some buns. <laughs> for lunch tomorrow and celebrate tonight if you want to. <laughs> I'm always up for eating out. <laughs> Any reason. <right? laughs> but y'all, this is so good. You've got to try it. Really good. It's delicious. It's Simple. easy. Simple. And we had one of those big tenderloins from Sam's. Oh, I know what we did with the other half. We used it for New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. We Pork cut crust. it in half. Then he cut off pork chops. Pork chops. I don't know how many. Eight, and then it left eight. that little piece that we used today for the. Um, we got three meals out of one. Pulled pork. Yes, we got three meals out of, and the first meal fed tons of people. Like it could have gone further, so we could have gotten four to five meals out of this one tenderloin. So. Y'all, be sure to try this. That rub is delicious on like a tenderloin type thing. It's a little bit different than my ribs rub, um, but it is so very good. So be sure to give it a try. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so thankful I have my taste tester always by my side. And my cook. <laughs> So, remember, the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.